Hi everyone, the Island Stacker here. Welcome to another video. Uh, so it's another another new week, another new Royal Mint release. These seem to be coming thick and fast. Um, this this week it's a new music theme coin. So as you can see, uh, George Michael is the new uh, addition to the singing collection, the uh, music legends collection. Sorry. So as you can see, there's other ones from David Bowie, the Rolling Stones, D Shirley Bassey, etc. Now, I, I don't know why the Royal Mint keeps releasing these coins. I've got nothing against George Michael or any of the other artists that they've released coins in homage to, but this isn't the th the way that I think the Royal Mint should be going. Even just looking at the website itself, this picture is not very good quality the the licensing copyright thing at the bottom of the picture is blurry because they've obviously just blown it up from wherever they've copied it from it also i don't think the coin or the design that it look the way it looks on the coin is 100 percent reminiscent of the design that i've seen from the person that designed the effigy or the 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 coin design on, on Instagram it doesn't quite look the same as how that coin looks online. So yeah, this, this coin here, the, the picture here doesn't really look the same as the actual design on the coins in these images. Uh, there's also, I note that there's no sort of one ounce silver proof that's not colorized. So the only option for one ounce silver is this, uh, with the red and black backgrounds. Again, I think this is something else that the Royal Mint needs to stop doing. So I don't know if this is because it's colorized or if it's another thing altogether, but as you can see, the price is £108.50. So the Tudor Beast coin that came out last week was £103.50. Granted, that doesn't have any colour on it, but I hope this is not another increase for a one-ounce silver proof coin from the Royal Mint, because if it is, it's just getting ridiculous and out of control, and the Royal Mint just needs to stop it and stop ripping people off, in my opinion. But that's a whole different thing. Um, the actual design itself, as I said, I don't think it 100% replicates the image that I saw on Instagram. It just looks slightly different. The proportions look slightly warped or adjusted based on... I presume it's because they have to make it fit on the coin. I don't know. But I, again, I've noticed that these new releases come out with this 40th ounce gold proof, which is minuscule. Um, as you can see, like you can't even see the beard detail on his face in this picture with the coin being so small. But yeah, another another release, another one that I'm going to be passing on. Uh, I can see that there, none of them are sold out. It says currently reserved, so I'm not quite sure what that means, if it's just a case of the Royal Mint sold the first handful and then to make it look like there's demand for it, have said that it's reserved so that if you, you... Let me see if I can still order the coin. Yeah, I can still order the coin, so it's just a case of the the delivery is going to be slightly later than probably when it went up at nine o'clock this morning. But yeah, it's just a quick look over some other theme coin that the Royal Mint's released. I'm sure we'll get another one next week. Uh, but yeah, let me know your thoughts on the coin and the design in the comments down below. Uh, thanks very much for watching, and I'll catch you all on the next one. Cheers.